Do you know the difference between Wix and Wix Studio? What on earth even is Wix Studio? And can it be the next best thing for your freelance or agency business? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna answer in my Wix Studio review. Let's see what this new website builder platform can do. First, we should define the difference between regular Wix and Wix Studio. Well, the former is an online website building platform that is free to start and is catered to users of every level. From AI builder to help complete beginners to code snippets and API for experts. The studio is in the middle of this and focuses on web design and clients website management. In other words, it's for businesses and developers. So if you want to craft a personal blog or small business website, go with Wix. I've left my special discount below for it. But if you want to design, craft your own apps, and even make money from Wix, well then continue watching. Naturally, if something offers you business opportunities, it's not gonna be completely free. Wix Studio is a premium tool, but it allows you to design, test out, and even show your website to your clients for free. Once you're ready to upgrade, there's also a 14-day money-back guarantee you can fall back on. As for my recommendations, the basic plan will have everything that a freelancer or a small studio needs. Of course, if you're more serious about client management and business building, then grab the Plus subscription. Anyway, my special discounts are below. I won't go too much into Wix pricing. You know what your business needs better than I do. So let's look at how Studio works in general. If you have used Wix before the Studio, both the dashboard and the editor feel very similar. But personally, Studio is a bit more organized and cleaner looking editor. The original could feel hectic at times. You can still use drag and drop controls to move elements freely in your design. But now you get a much more in-depth right-hand panel where you can move things pixel by pixel or add complex adjustable animations. The whole editor starts to feel like a mix of old school Wix and Photoshop or a similar program, which I appreciate. It gives way more control over even the smallest design detail but it's also not forcing you to do it. You get lots of AI help with everything from text to layout generation. Looking at element selection, surprisingly, Wix editor seems to have more options than Wix Studio. For example, the PayPal button or more interactive sliders. But you might also notice that the elements in Studio are cleaner, more refined, and more organized. I mean, that makes sense. You're not adding an element as a finished product. You're gonna add your own branding, styling, and so on. It might not be bigger, but it's a more detailed selection. Another important aspect is the responsive design. Unlike regular Wix, which has mobile and desktop settings, Studio allows you to customize breakpoints in your design to minute details. In fact, there is even an AI responsive designer that takes those breakpoints and restructures your entire page. It's not perfect yet, but it works for simpler designs. If you're more of a numbers builder, then you should like the Studio coding capabilities. These are built on already existing Wix systems, but allow a bit more complex control. First, it's more organized and cleaner. You know, it's kind of funny that the editor for professionals is easier to understand and navigate than the editor for everyone. Anyway, back from my slight tangent. If you haven't used the Wix coding suite, I think you'll like it. It uses its own Velo library, so yes, you'll need to learn another API. But the magic here is that you can just connect any element of your design with any coding part. No need to define anything, and it even comes with simple event templates. What I'm getting at is that I think you should try coding with Wix. It's kind of fun. It's not only about designs. Just like regular Wix, Studio comes with an integrated content management system, or CMS for short. If some of you don't fully know what it is, CMS allows you to create and manage content without coding, or in this case, without editing it on a specific page design. It minimizes your work and allows for dynamic content that updates everywhere once changed. The Wix system is good, but not perfect. You can create your own templates or start from predefined like team, projects, news, etc. The interface for it is clean and you can even use AI help. Like here, I've added that I wanted to have a collection of dogs and it created a table with the breed, name, and photos. It even populated the table with demo content. What's the issue then? Well, with custom apps, templates, and code, there were a few instances where CMS did not work correctly. But to be fair, I was trying real hard to break Wix, so take it with a grain of salt. What's absolutely necessary for a good CMS is a mobile app. Sure, designing a website through mobile is still a bit complex, but managing inventory, changing settings, or checking on analytics shouldn't require you to sit in front of a PC. 
Wix mobile app does just that and is quite practical. Naturally, you can't do everything on it, but as a side tool that's free, the mobile app is highly recommended. When working with multiple projects, effective client feedback and communication can be the difference between a chill work week and a work month in hell. All right, maybe it's not that bad, but I appreciate that Wix allows clients to leave feedback on the design in any place. No need to describe in long detail what element you're talking about. Just select it and leave a comment. You can also customize your branding and build client kits to help them manage their project. I won't go into the details since there's a lot here. The only thing I'll mention is to give Wix time. Currently, it's a bit slow and can feel stuck at times. I don't know whether it was because of all the testing and experimentations I've done or just because it lacks more optimizations. If you've heard one thing about Wix in general, it's probably just how big of a website building platform it is. And Studio inherits the same Wix market with hundreds of different apps. Sure, the number might not match the insanity of the 8,000 apps that Shopify offers, but honestly, these feel more curated and organized. You can get an app for nearly anything, store management, drop shipping, analytics, marketing, and so on. While Wix has a lot to get the best out of Wix SEO or Wix e-commerce, I recommend browsing the store app. A few things to note about the apps. First, every Wix build tool is free. However, not all of them are great. So it's really valuable that users leave ratings and reviews, and you can avoid time wasters. Second, most other apps come with a premium monthly fee, which is another billing on top of already existing ones. Wix's billing system can get hectic if you're managing a lot of products. However, you can also allow your clients to be responsible for their website app subscription, removing quite a big burden. As I mentioned before, you can switch sides and be the one selling your custom app on Wix Market. Basically, Wix allows you to use nearly every part of their platform to sell and make money, which is really cool. I haven't built a custom app or plugin for ages, so I can't comment on how optimized the process is, but I like that the interface to do so is clean and minimalistic. Of course, you don't want your clients' websites to feel like they're loading straight from 1999. In other words, you need good performance to be competitive as an agency or freelancer. And to be fair, Standard Wix had a problem with this for a long time. It's becoming better, but how's this new platform? First, our goal is to load in under 2.5 seconds, which Google counts as a good speed. Slow loading times can impact your search results placement and drag your clients' projects down. Standard Wix manages to load my project in exactly 2.5 seconds. These are not terrible results considering this site is full of elements and isn't just empty. Now, as for Studio, it performed a bit better fully loading this design in 1.6 seconds. Looking at the industry leaders, that's definitely not the fastest website builder, but for a platform this extensive and with so many add-ons, I say results are suited for business. Of course, your time will vary based on how heavy your site is, so keep it light. But what am I saying? You're professionals, you already know that. So to sum everything up, is Wix Studio good for your business? Absolutely. In fact, I think that with the ability to test out the platform for free, lots of ways to earn money, and modern website management tools, this might be the most approachable platform for new freelancers or small companies. It has a lot and might need a bit more time to learn, but it's well worth it to start making money with Wix Studio. Okay, thanks for watching my Wix review till the end. If you're looking to get the best website builder for other purposes or want to check out alternatives, you can find more reviews by subscribing to the channel. As always, if you have any experience with Wix website builder or studio especially, share them in the comments below. Anyway, I'll see you all next time.